how to create products in Shopify from Airtable automatically. So in this video, I'll show you how to connect or integrate Airtable and Shopify in such a way that whenever new product is added into the Airtable along with all product details, how the products can be created automatically into the Shopify store. Want to learn how we can do that? Come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Airtable account and I want to sync the data of Airtable with the Shopify store so that whenever I'm going to add the product details here one by one, the products should be created automatically into my Shopify store. For that, firstly, I'll have to build a connection in between these application and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. You can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks in your account every month in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. I am already an existing user of Pabli Connect. So that is why I'm clicking on sign in and then I have clicked on access now. And this is how you can also reach out to the dashboard. I have maximized it so that you can see the data very clearly. After reaching out to the dashboard, you will have to click on this blue button that that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I'm going to paste the name as when product, add, when product is added in a table, create product in Shopify automatically. Now I'll be clicking on this button create and you will find two boxes in front of you. These are actually trigger and action. Okay, so trigger means when this happens, action means do this. Whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say send an email via Gmail application. And here, according to our use case, whenever the product details are added into the Airtable application, automatically create products in Shopify application. Okay. So this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. And here I'm going to add my product details into the Airtable account. So that is why I have selected the same. And I want as soon as a new record is added, a new accord is generated. This automation should start trigger. So that is why I have selected the same. Now I'm going to connect to my Airtable account with the Pabli Connect. For that, you will have to choose this add a new connection and simply provide the token and from where you will get the token you will have to click on this particular hyperlink and here you will directly reach out to that particular place where you will actually get the token okay so i have copied this token and i'm going to paste the same and after saving you will see how airtable will be connected with pabli connect okay so now what will happen the data the new record will be captured into the pabli connect for that firstly you will have to select the base so my base name is all e-commerce products so let me search for the same all e-commerce products all right here is that base i have selected asking for the table so I have not provided any specific name to my table. So I will select table one only. Here you can see the table one has selected automatically asking for the trigger field. Okay, so create a field in your table schema with the field name created and field type created time. Okay, and you will have you will have to follow these instructions for the same. Okay, so I will go back to my Airtable account and here right in front of you, I am going to uh, add one more field as the created name. Okay, as for the instructions and the type of this particular field will be the created time all right click on this create field after doing this particular setting okay clicking on this button create field and when it is created come back to the Pabli connect and here first refresh and you will see the same field will be selected automatically now I'm going to click on this button save and send test request but before that let me first add all the data related to the product okay so here I'm going to upload the watch okay so assume that I have a lot of watch in my store so I'm going to upload the data into my Shopify store okay so the product type is watch the product title is smartwatch here is the product description product price is assume that 59999 the quantity will I have 19 watches into my store all right the product image URL so let me open this particular URL I have already added this particular image okay asking for the vendor name so I will keep it as Pabli and here it is asking that would you like 
like to update the inventory so i am going to press yes because yes i would like to update this inventory okay and the last field i have as the created okay so now i will be coming back to pably connect and clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see the same data will be captured here into the pably connect since we are connected since the airtable and pably connect is connected so let me show you the details one by one so firstly we have the vendor name we have the update the inventory the quantity the product type product title product price we here we have the product image url and it is the same image url let me even show you okay so i have opened it and yes it is the same image url okay let us check other details so we have the product description the fields created and finally the created time so presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is working absolutely fine now we are going to send the same data same details to the shopify so that we can create a product into our shopify store but before that here i am going to apply a filter basically a condition that whenever this automation will find a value as yes in this particular column in that case only the product should be created into the short shopify store otherwise this automation will stop here okay so assume that you are adding the product details okay so on adding the product details the details will not be created into the shopify unless you are not updating this particular column this particular record as yes here okay so coming back to pably connect and here let me show you how you can set this condition with the help of filter well filter is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can apply several kinds of conditions within your automation within your workflow and in this select the label i will search for this particular column the update the inventory okay so let me search for the same update the inventory all right so if the update the inventory is equal to yes then only this automation should start proceed should proceed and here you will see the condition will be true because currently we actually have the value as yes only just in case you are going to add no here this automation will stop working here only because the condition will be false here okay now finally if the condition is true what should be the next step so basically it should create a product into the shopify okay so i will be clicking on this plus icon and here i will search for the the shopify store okay shopify application and after selecting the application in the action event since i want to create a product so that is why i will search for that specific action event okay here it is clicking on connect and now as we have connected the airtable with pably connect similarly we are going to connect a, a shopify with the pably connect okay so click on this add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the token and the subdomain from where you can get the token here the instructions are given so the this is my shopify store and i'll have to copy this particular subdomain from my url and then i'm going to paste the same thing here asking for the token so how you can get the token well, basically you will have to go to the apps develop apps and then you will have to create an app and this is how you can actually get the access token follow the steps as shown in the below below okay so i will directly take you to my shopify store and here you will find the option of apps at the left hand side after that you will ha have to click on this app and sales channel settings and here at the top right corner you will find an option of the develop apps okay so here we are going to create a new app so how about i keep the name as new app only new or app for connection okay so i am providing this particular random name click on this create app button and from here you will find an option of configure the admin api scopes okay Okay, so basically we are going to specify that what particular access you need to provide to this particular pably connect automation tool okay so here let us search for the product because here we are about to create the product so that is why i'm going to provide the access for the same so yes it can write the product listing and let me again search for the product listing so do we have other listing and yes we have other option as write products and the read products so i 
I have provided the axis of these two things but I do not want to provide the axis of this particular thing because it is not required okay so I have provided the axis finally to the automation software and now finally I will be clicking on the save button all right so you will see how it is going to be saved now you will have to go to the API credentials and then you will have to install this application and once you will install this application inside the Shopify store finally you will find your token you can actually reveal your token copy this data and then come back to public connect and here exactly we are going to paste the same API access token okay now click on save and this is how your Shopify store will be connected to public connect all right now finally we are going to provide the details one by one and this is how we are going to create a product into the Shopify store well I am going to provide I am going to fill only necessary details which are actually required for creating the product and rest of the things I am going to leave bank for the moment okay so it is asking for the product title so I have already received all the data as a response into my Airtable application and I don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here I am going to map this data and mapping is very simple in Pabli Connect if you will click on this particular field you will find the above data the Airtable data here in the drop down you just need to search for that specific thing okay so product title here we have the product title asking for the product type so again I am going to search for the product type here it is asking for the status well I would like to keep the status as the active only asking for the vendor name so let me search for the vendor name I remember the vendor name we have kept as the Pabli only asking for the product description let me search for the description directly and here we have the description okay so this is how we are going to map the details one by one is published yes you can actually make it true published add if you want to provide a timing you can even provide the timing from the a table we which we have received okay so remember we have created a field with the name created time okay so you can map the timing from here also so yes I have mapped the timing as well publish scope you can actually select as per your choice asking for the handle I will leave it blank now here I need to provide the price and the quantity and the image URL so let me search for these values directly so here I have the image URL I'm going to map the image URL directly all right here I have the image URL other than the image URL let us check what particular data is actually left so I think I have not added the quantity yet so let me search let me search for the quantity field also all right so line item variant so it is asking for the inventory quantity again I'm going to search for the quantity as well and here we have 19 watches into our stock into our inventory all right I think I have updated all the details let us cross check if any of the detail is left all right so I have I think provided all the details and uh, let me search for the price as well whether I have provided the price all right so here we have the variant price so last thing I am going to map is the price okay now you must be thinking what is this mapping which I am repeating in front of you again and again so here whatever the details we are mapping will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so assume that you are adding a new product detail here so what will happen that new product detail will be captured via Pabli connect here and and that new product detail will replace these existing value because we are mapping the data if we are going to add this data manually the data will remain same okay so that is why mapping is important in Pabli connect mapping is important in this automation okay so finally I will be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how the products will be created automatically so let us close this particular setup and here is the product section of my Shopify store coming back to public connect clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive waiting for the product to be created into the Shopify store well the response has already arrived let us go back to the Shopify store and check for the product let me first refresh my Shopify store and check whether that smartwatch has been created as a product into my Shopify store or not and yes you can see the smartwatch along with the same image along with the same 
quantity everything has been added automatically so this is how now onwards every time you are going to add the new data every time you are going to add the new product into the air table that data will be fetched up automatically via pably connect in every 10 minutes and after that the products will be created into the shopify store in every 10 minutes so this is how you can sync your air table data with the pably connect and once you have created this automation inside pably connect you can simply close pably connect and sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you just need to set this automation inside pably connect once and after that you do not have to do anything manually i will also attach my workflow link into the youtube description box so just in case if you want to access the same workflow into your account you can actually go to this particular link sign up for free into the pably connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video